I don't know why, but it works for my makeup. Um, it works perfectly for my makeup. Uh, so yeah, I will be showing you that what's inside the drawers is all makeup and hair products. And then on top, I also organize with the um, Muji acrylic drawers. I have the three drawer um, acrylic drawers and the two drawer. This is the two drawer wide. Um, there is a difference when you order them um, from Muji. I ordered these online. And um, the wide is actually not as long as the three drawer. So it's off a little bit, but for me, you know, it's like no big deal. But in case, you know, you order that and not realize it, you know, you might want to take you know, actually look at the measurements like I didn't. <laughs> and then on top, I just have a little small acrylic organizer that um, I think I got from TJ Maxx or somewhere. I'm not sure. But I've had these about a year, and they're very, very, very nice. I really love them. Believe the hype. I know they're very popular for your makeup, but they are very worth it, and I would definitely recommend. So I'm going to go over quick what I have. Um, I am cruelty free. It's kind of a transition. I have a lot of stuff that is not cruelty free, so I'm not sure yet what I want to do with those things. But some things are cruelty free, so I'm happy about that. But I know a chunk of my collection is not. So I'm going to go ahead and run through everything before I um, take everything out, clean it, put it back. You know, everything needs to be kind of reorganized and cleaned. So just to show you some of the stuff that I do have, um, this is stuff that I have from Lush. I just did a video, uh, my Lush Christmas haul gifts I got from Lush, and um, I haven't really decided what I want to do with these things. They belong in the bathroom, I think, but my bathroom is really small here. I will be moving in a couple of months, so all of this will change again. <laughs> so yeah, um, for now they just sit here. In these Sephora bags, um, for my mini trips and orders from Sephora, I just have a bunch of samples and... I just keep them in here. Sometimes I use them, throw them in my purse, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, just beauty and um, a lot of perfume samples. This is actually a bag full of um, perfume samples. And I might end up putting these like in a jar. I think they'd be cute in a jar. I don't want to get rid of them because um, it's a lot of samples in there. And then in here, um, this was actually a... Um, birthday gift from Sephora last year um, it was the VIB row gift from NARS so that was really nice a nicer one and just some other samples I have more perfume samples and stuff like that from Sephora um, I don't shop there nearly as much as I used to <laughs> but yeah I love Sephora these are some brushes um, that just sit on my you know, on top of the dresser. I don't know if it's a good idea because they do get rather dusty. Sometimes you have to kind of, you know, make sure you're not putting that on your face. But these are more of my favorite brushes that I use more consistently. So I like to keep them out. And they're just in this little Bobbi Brown brush case um, that I've had for a while. Some lotion. This is my Dollar Tree from my Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> Some um, shea butter body lotion. And these are just more of my favorite things, more of my, um, I guess I could say my high-end makeup. Um, used to be here. It's all disorganized, so it's a little bit of everything now. But this is some e.l.f. Um, makeup mist spray, um, some Max Fix Plus, some of my favorite MAC brushes here. This one's actually, it actually is my favorite. It's the microfiber, I think, one or something like that. And then this is a blush. These shouldn't even be up here, actually. Um, but yeah. Um, my, let's see, what do I have? A bunch of eyeliner pencils. Oh, this is my Anastasia, or I think that's what it's called. Uh, Beverly Hills Bra Wiz. Really like that. Um, my Claudel. Uh, it's more like a face spray. and It smells really good, and I really like it. I don't use it anymore, but loved it when I did use it. Some more, um... Face spray. This is MAC. And then some other stuff that I have. Some Chanel. My favorite lipstick from Kat Von D. It's the... Um, oops, I have something on my screen I can't get rid of. Um, it's the Vampira, I think. Yeah, it's Vampire Kat Von D. One of my favorite lipsticks. And um, what 
what is this mac mascara more um fix plus no is this fix, fix plus yeah um yeah 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 cute little elf makeup brush smashbox and in the drawers you know more goodies this blush um i actually oh my god this is hard to do with one hand this blush i saw carrie washington get uh, her makeup done in a magazine and this is the blush that he used and i liked it so much on her i had to have it so i ordered it and it's by lancome oh gosh i can't open it let's see okay here's the color it's very bright but it looks really pretty on and I think I used it maybe once <laughs> maybe but I just had to have it because Carrie Washington had it and it looks so good on her <laughs> anyway some Dior and other compacts I've never used um, more miscellaneous makeup this is my favorite um, mascara it's the L'Oreal telescopic some NARS some more NARS. This is a NARS concealer. I really like it. And I think this is, what is this? Oh, this is an eyeshadow base. It's really messy. So a lot of stuff needs to be cleaned as well. Organize, reorganized and cleaned. Eyeshadow, some Sephora uh, lip gloss, Buxom, Bobbi Brown blush, um, more goodies, Sonia Kashuk, bronzer, MAC, um, blunt br blush <laughs> Marc Jacobs uh, what is this Marc Jacobs blush I believe very pretty Got this from Sephora very pretty vibrant dark color um, let's see what color this is this is tantalizing okay nice some Becca Tarte this is from Sephora as well beautiful love it <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Some um, MAC eyeshadow quads. A little smaller one there. Fashion Fair, Fashion Fair. Iman. Um, this is a powder, I think. And a foundation. This is Brown Script MAC. This is Fashion Fair. Fashion Fair used to be my favorite makeup of all. <laughs> um, this is um, a bronzer, and I really like it because. I think it's tart. It has this really nice powder poofy thing. <laughs> I really like it. Um, but and then this is uh, more Mar Marc Jacobs. Ah, beautiful compact. It's a bronzer on me. It's just a powder and it has the big mirror with it and all that. So it's just really, really pretty compact. Beautiful. And some Bobbi Brown um, concealer eye corrector peach color um, like a concealer so I have that um, let's see go ahead and pull out my first drawer my whole wet n wild collection I was really into wet n wild for a while these are just eyeshadow um, little mini palettes and I just had to have as many as I could find <laughs> um, some NARS eyeshadows more lip products when everything was organized this is all my lip products here eye pencils and um, eye lip pencils and eye pencils lipstick back there lip glosses here um, more face powders and such like that um, these were all of my eyeshadow palettes lots and lots of them the Too Faced chocolate does smell like chocolate the chocolate bar oh, I'm so sorry shaking the camera this was the oh eyeshadow one didn't really use that this was my newest one that I ordered before I went totally cruelty free and it's by Urban Decay and um, I did use that a couple times so yeah nice little zipper case and what else oh I had to have the nudes from uh, Maybelline and I really like it because this is pretty much the color eyeshadows that I like to wear the nudes um, the Too Faced powder I think it's a, is it a bronzer yeah, it's more like a powder on me. And some more Naked. This is the Naked Blush set. And then these are some Wet n Wild palettes. I'm a little OCD with it. So I did label some of the the ones that were dupes for MAC. At one point, I was labeling everything. And so I did label a 
couple of these <laughs> uh, wet and wild because um, they were pretty much almost exact dupes for MAC eyeshadow colors. This was a lipstick palette that I made from melting some of my old um, MAC lipsticks and wet and wild lipsticks and any lipstick that I felt like I didn't need the whole thing and I just melted it and made it into a palette and pretty much never really used it <laughs> but it looks pretty decent but it took me like all day to make this <laughs> but yeah it's a lot of lipstick in there okay and then these are just some more MAC palettes and these are labeled um, so I can know what the heck I'm putting on if I want to do a certain look um, and then this is a blush a MAC blush palette which fell and um, I lost two <laughs> well, actually I lost four but I'm trying to hold on to them and yeah so this is just the top drawer and this video is getting extremely long okay so I'm just gonna just rush through the other ones this is more foundation and powder and stuff and it's really messy in there um, love my banana powders can't let them go I have the banana the topaz the buff I think that's it but yeah just different kinds of foundations here um, some MAC foundation um, this is really nasty <laughs> makeup forever I don't really wear that much anymore uh, what else what else what else really quick oh my god what is that doing down here this is my Kat Von D lipstick um, I think it's Vampira yeah it shouldn't be down there See, that's why I need to organize, because I have stuff I forgot I have. And this is the Kat Von D um, foundation. Uh, I don't know what color it is. Uh, okay. Uh, deep. I think it's deep. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the Kat Von D. Um, oh, look at my poor nail. It is terrible. Um, Kat Von D um, concealer. There's my Clarisonic. Um, back there, this is a bunch of um, face cleaning stuff extra stuff, brush cleaner, my old MAC brush cleaner, <clears throat> my Clarisonic um, cleanser that I didn't use, some other cleanser, um, some cruelty free, um, is it cruelty free? Yeah, deodorant I got from Sephora, and just, you know, Ole Henriksen face cleaning kit that I got, some other stuff here. Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil, things like that. I think that's about empty. Black Soap, which shouldn't be in there. Hairbrush shouldn't be in there. My new way I clean my brushes with the baby oil and my, um, yeah, and more just more brushes in there. More brushes, little tools in there. And then in the bottom is just hair stuff. And it's a mess, too. <laughs> Pro I usually don't keep products in here, but I don't know. I have to go through that but yeah this is my flat iron in there and blow dryer and my straightening comb and then these little containers here hold hair accessories um, I got these from the container store and they're labeled to keep my wave clips bobby pins hair clips and this is one hair is ponytail holders in there my um little hair wrap thing I got from the Dollar Tree <laughs> keep that in there and then this is another container, and this one has headbands in it, and another hair wrap, and then some other hair accessories. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up, and or reorganize everything. And um, oh, on the side there is just my um, nail kit, right? Organize all of my nail stuff, and then that bag just has some journals or books or something in there. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up everything and reorganize everything and